How's it going everyone? I'm Alex. I'm a full-time six-figure Amazon seller. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reverse source with SellerAmp. Reverse sourcing is probably the method that I use most when sourcing. And reverse sourcing is just when you are looking at Amazon products and then you are going back and looking where you can find that product cheaper at a different store like a Target or Walmart. Now, if you've never done reverse sourcing before, you're probably thinking, how do you find these Amazon products? Well, one of the best ways to do that is through storefront stocking. And SellerAmp is an awesome way to go through products quickly, stocking different storefronts and reverse sourcing off of that. So I'm gonna jump in and show you how to do that. So there's two basic steps to reverse sourcing with SellerAmp and SellerAmp helps you do both of them. One is finding the product and two is using the tool to determine whether it's profitable or not. So one way, if we're starting from scratch, we don't know any products to search for, we can just do a basic search on Amazon to get us started with a product. If you know which category you wanna source, you can start there. If you know a certain brand you wanna source with, you can start there. So I'm just going to basically be typing in Adidas shoes. So searching something like this, it's going to bring up a bunch of Adidas shoes. We're just going to click on one or two and open that up in Amazon. So off of that basic search we started with, we don't have to find our product that we wanna start sourcing right away, but we wanna click on one of those original products to get the ball rolling. This product is a 1K rank, sells a bunch of times a month. Amazon is on this one. But what we can do is go to the variations tab and see if Amazon isn't on any of these variations. We can see that a size 10 and a half of this color variation, Amazon is currently not selling on. So let's open this product up. And the reason we want something that Amazon's not on is because more likely than not, there's going to be a bunch of OA sellers on these kinds of listings that Amazon isn't selling. It's got a $70 sale price and a max cost of $38. So there's a good chance that there's some OA sellers finding this product for under $38 and selling it. So if we scroll down in SellerAmp, we can go all the way down to the offers page at the bottom and we can see that there's four different sellers on the listing. This product is basically a gateway to a bunch of other products and we're going to be able to find that through SellerAmp. What you wanna do is look at each storefront and you wanna find one that has anywhere from 10 to 500-ish reviews, right? If we have someone who has a couple hundred thousand reviews like this top seller here, 415,000 reviews, they're probably doing some kind of wholesale or they're doing large numbers where they might be getting discounts of some sort to find this product cheaper. We don't really wanna look at their storefront because it's not gonna be similar to a storefront we want to emulate. Because there's only FBM sellers on this listing, we'll have to probably look at one of these, but ideally we wanna look at FBA sellers because we wanna sell this product FBA or we wanna sell a similar product FBA and we wanna make sure these other sellers are selling FBA products. We can see at the bottom here, this seller has 22 reviews. That seems like a good amount to me. So we're gonna click on that and it's going to bring up their storefront. As you can see, they have a bunch of different products here. So this is where we can start storefront stocking and reverse sourcing off of some of their other products that they have listed. We can sort by Adidas by clicking on Adidas and then we can see all the different Adidas products that they are currently selling. Ideally, we wanna scroll down and look for listings that Amazon is not currently selling. A lot of these are gonna be variation listings because of the clothing item or the shoe, but we should be able to find some that is a good rank. So like I said, the first step was to find the products, right? So we found something that looks promising, but we don't really know if it's worth looking into or not. So we can see these statistics here. It's a 5K BSR or sales rank. That's a really good rank here. It's gonna sell plenty of times a month. We can see our max cost is $25 to, if we were to sell it at the current buy box of $49. There's only six sellers on the listing, but we wanna look into it because there's variation sales. So the, the, the overview looks decent, uh, but we wanna look into the variations and make sure that uh, we have the right one and we wanna make sure that the one we are gonna sell is gonna sell it enough times a month. So we can open the Amazon listing here. So now that we found our product, we wanna use SellerAmp to reverse source, to be able to find this product in stores and then do it efficiently, right? It's not just finding the products, it's how quickly can you get through these products so you can find more products in one sourcing session. We can see on average, this product sells anywhere from 48 to $53 in the last three months. Let's do a breakdown of the data that SellerAmp offers. It shows the rank, it estimates the sales off of that rank. Obviously you have your profit and ROI calculations, your sale price, your max cost, and then you get to input what cost price you might be able to find. All this information here, plus the Keepa chart, is really most of the information you're gonna need to make a smart buying decision on this product. So the easiest way to reverse source this is by clicking the Google button, and that will paste the title of that product into Google and bring up all of the stores that sell that product. 
You can also sort on the shopping tab and that will bring up all of the other products that are sold here. Uh, just kind of filters it down so you're not looking at other things. It doesn't hurt to look at the entire search and then scroll down and see which websites are offering the product. Once we know that this product is profitable based on the price you're buying it on whatever website you find this on, there's a few things we wanna to add to our tracking to make sure that we're tracking this product successfully. We can see if we can find this for $25, we'll make $7.50 and a 30% ROI. If you scroll all the way down towards the bottom, we see this profit calculator. We can see that if we buy, say 10 of these shoes, we can type in 10 and then it's going to tell us how much we're probably gonna spend on this, what, how much we're gonna sell this for, and then the total profit we'll make on the shoe. Then what you wanna do is make sure that you're posting the URL of the website that you found it on in here and saving that. So then when you export it to your Google Sheet, you know exactly where you found the shoe. In unison with that tactic, you want to add a note saying if you used any discount or anything that pertains to your order to make it known of how you got that $25 buy price. If you do both of those things, you'll know exactly how you got to the price and where you found the shoe in the future. So you found your first lead, you reverse sourced it with the SellerAmp Google feature, and now how do you find more products? How do you get more efficient? Like I said, we have the storefront search that we already found looking at a random Amazon listing, and we can just continue to look at these other listings that these sellers are selling and trying to find ones that we can find any on any website to resell on Amazon. Using SellerAmp to storefront stock, and then again, reverse source once you're on the listing is going to speed up your sourcing process so much. Once you start to get the hang of reverse sourcing through SellerAmp and storefront stocking through SellerAmp, you're going to get faster at sourcing and you're gonna to start to find more products a lot quicker. One thing you can do once you start finding good products as you can storefront stock off of that specific product, right? We have a whole nother list of sellers here that we can storefront stock as well. So there's another expert technique that you can do to increase the amount of products you are looking at and increase the amount of products you are able to get through in a sourcing period. All right, hopefully after this video, you guys have a little bit better knowledge of reverse sourcing and getting through products a little bit quicker. That's kind of the name of the game. How quickly can you get through products and how quickly can you weed out the bad products? And SellerAmp makes it super easy to do this process. So I highly recommend if you don't already use SellerAmp, definitely get a free trial. There's a link in my description down below. Uh, get the free trial, test it out, and I know you're gonna like it. It's gonna make things so much quicker when sourcing uh, and hopefully your business benefits from it. So if you guys like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.